The beautiful Han Ying Zitherwo is not your typical construct. She fills a niche role that allows her to shine on both omniframe and uniframe teams, making her a flexible character suited to an array of situations. But as an A-rank character, is she actually any good? You're right on cue, gentlemen. Now, please enjoy this performance. There are two Han Yings to watch out for. Zitherwo, the A-rank physical support, and her new frame, an S-rank physical tank. Han Yang's S-rank frame won't be coming to global until spring 2025, so today we're going to focus on her A-rank frame. Now, it may seem a bit strange for Han Ying to debut as a support character for the physical teams. After all, there are already two other physical support constructs available, Live Eclipse and Live Luminance. Since Eclipse is a free starter character, and Luminance has been an option since launch, every player already has one, if not two, constructs for this role. So, why would you need a third? Well, Han Ying is actually better than either Liv at equal investment. Yes, she's even better than the S-rank Liv Luminance. The only thing that's better than Han Ying is Luminance with her leap skills, but they take a long, long time to unlock, and if you haven't gotten them yet, don't bother. At this point, leap investments will be better spent on other constructs. Along with healing, Han Ying can buff the physical damage output of those in her party, and she can both rush enemies or group them together. As an added bonus, she can dodge as a part of her core passive, making her more agile than other constructs. She's also a delight to behold, always dancing elegantly through each of her moves. But if that wasn't enough, Hanyin can also do something that no other construct can do. She can strengthen uniframe teams. Uniframes are a special kind of construct that have access to speed attacks and finishing moves. They perform best in specialized game modes such as Operation Uniframe and a few others. However, despite being good attackers, they don't have healing or armor shredding abilities. They also don't perform well on mixed teams since they take a terrible 30% attack debuff for every omniframe they're fighting with. That's up to a 60% debuff if there are two omniframes on the team. But Han Ying changes all that. At least, she does for two uniframes in particular, Hu Lao Dragon Tall and Chu Pavo. Don't they look nice together? At triple S rank, Han Ying's passive ability will offset the 30% attack debuff that Pu Lao and Chu would normally take so they can take full advantage of her other buffs and fight alongside her with no drawbacks. At triple S plus rank, Han Ying's QTE or core passive also grants Chu a set of three matching orbs and gives Pu Lao a 10% crit bonus and a shield. And don't be intimidated by the high rank requirements. Since Han Ying is an A rank, you can get her to triple S plus completely free given enough time. But first, let's talk about how you get her to begin with, since you'll have a couple of different options. Option one. Pull her from the base banner, aka the beginner banner. During her debut patch, she will be 100% guaranteed for a mere 2,500 black cards or blue tickets. Both forms of currency can be obtained for free by playing the game, but blue tickets can only be used on this banner, so be sure to check and see if you happen to have any already. You might be able to pull Han Ying without spending a single black card. Just remember that on this banner, players will get a free random S rank on their first 40th pull and after that every 60th pull. But in the patch Cradle Parade, PGR will introduce a new feature that allows you to choose this S rank once. If you don't have many blue tickets and are close to the pity, you might want to wait until Lamia's patch to get an S rank of your choice. Your second option doesn't involve pulls at all. During her debut patch, 30 of Zitherwo's inverse shards can be earned for free in the patch shop. Either use these shards to unlock her, or, if you've already pulled her, use them to evolve Han Ying to S rank quickly. If you're patient, you can also accrue inverse shards by collecting two per day through the resource stages. It's slow going, but reliable. Or, if you happen to have a lot of excess A rank shards from characters you've already gotten to triple S plus, you can turn them into Han Ying shards. Just convert them into currency from the items page and then buy Han Ying shards in the shard shop. This is a great option for players who've been playing it for a long time or who've rolled on a lot of banners. Whether or not you decide to evolve Han Ying, she is still one of the best A ranks currently available. In fact, every A rank after Bambinata is a real standout, and if you happen to be rolling on the blue ticket banner for that S rank pity, Han Ying is worth targeting on the way there. And of course, Han Ying comes with some alternate coatings. Heartseeker gives her this beautiful red dress with this beautiful glowing pattern on the back. The torn hems and head decorations seem to be an homage to Jiangxi. 
similar to Chu Pavo and a future coating for number 21. This coating can be obtained for free with 49 blueprints or 68 rainbow cards on her debut. In the patch Stars and Snared, you can earn this free alternate coating for Han Ying which gives her lots of glamorous accessories and a pair of specs. The color scheme is very similar to her future S rank frame, which I'm sure was intentional. But enough about looks, is Han Ying Zitherwo really worth getting? Well, it's a bit complicated. Han Ying is still a great construct, but her role is a bit situational. Han Ying fulfills a niche role on the Kaolong team, making Pu Lao and Chu stronger. However, you do need to evolve her to triple S rank to unlock this benefit, and on top of that, Uniframe content is scarce in PGR, so this benefit doesn't have a lot of payoff. You could bring this team to other game modes, but since there's no tank, they'll struggle against enemies with lots of armor. Live Luminance with her leap skills performs better than Han Ying, so if you have her already, that might be the better way to go. But if you don't have her leap, don't bother getting it at this stage, and that's because... All physical supports will be powercraft by Elisa Echo, who's releasing around July 2024. Elisa is a free physical amplifier who completely blows all physical supports out of the water, including Han Ying. However, despite all that, there are still some very good reasons to pick up Zitherwo. She's free! Get her shards from the shop during her debut without spending a single pull. She's affordable. She only takes 10 pulls, or 2,500 black cards to obtain. Plus, you can use blue tickets, which you might already have. She's a great A rank. Despite the future power creep, she's still one of the best A ranks you can get. Perfect for new players. And of course, she's beautiful and fun to play. Get Han Ying if you love Han Ying. Enjoy playing her while you wait for her future S rank frame to come out. Whether or not you pick up Han Ying, you should absolutely check out her story, which actually starts in Pulao's interlude. Yes, Pulao's interlude is really more of a Han Ying interlude in a way. If you haven't read it yet, you should definitely check that out. But Lena, I don't own Pulao, you say. Fear not. The Floating Reverie also brings with it a great new quality of life feature that allows you to read interludes without even owning the character. All the great interludes will soon be yours to peruse at your leisure. But if you're interested in owning the strongest member of the Kaolong team in spite of its shortcomings, you can learn about Pulao Dragon Toll in this video. Dance, dance, revolution! 900 combos! Let's go! 1,000 combos! Yo, tear it up! I can't even count that high! Too many combos to count!